rank and have your own rank going into drafts. And I don't know that you need to have a one, two, three, four, five. I like to rank you in tiers because it never fails. You know, if I've got Clevenger, Flaherty, and Bueller as my tier twos, but I have them ranked in order, and then one of them goes, you know, I can pick among that group. I think it's a, you know, you could have a round where five or six players in the same tier are taken, but if you've got them grouped in tiers as opposed to numerically, I think it gives you a better feel for where you are, particularly if you're in a time draft where you have a certain amount, say 90 seconds or 60 seconds. You're not panicking. You, you've got it there before you. And the other thing is, and I think Lenny, I know Lenny did this morning, he mentioned it, talking about a specific player that he had not had in his queue, and because of that, he, he didn't draft him. Get your draft board, write it down, print it out, or type it out, print it out. Have it there with you on draft day. And that's why I think it's important that you listen to what Lenny and Andrea say. Listen to George. Listen to Kevin. Listen to Chappie. Listen to the podcasters. I don't mean to leave anybody out, but you hear, you know where I'm going with this. Listen to all the podcasters. Get their take. And then make your own decisions. Draw your own draft board up. And be ready and look forward to the 2020 season. Pitchers and catchers reporting today. I said that earlier. It's going to be a great season. It's going to be a great day. Enjoy your Tuesday, everybody, and I'll see you Thursday morning on Arnie's Fantasy World of Sports. Tonight, we've got Chappie coming on. I can't wait to hear his show. Always great information. Have a great day, everybody.